What is going on guys? Jump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy. Having a great day. You guys know in the last video I just dropped, I filled up my crypto mining server rack full of batteries right here. You guys can see. Let's check it out. Full of all six of these guys. Looking fantastic. We got 1300 watts being pulled right now. It's been actually a real cloudy day. So I'm not really going too nuts on it. I want to get the batteries completely full. This is the first day they've actually been in here. So let's turn these all on and just see what we're looking like for uh, percentage wise. And then we will uh, go from there. So we got 89% there, 89, 85, 82, 83, and 82. Crazy. All right. So I know the glare sucks. I apologize for that. But I'm trying to get all of these up to 100%. So what I'm going to do is actually kill this uh, KS zeros. I have 10 of them going right now. So I'm going to take 1,000 watts off the load. And I'm going to allow the 1,000 watts to basically supercharge this battery bank so I can see what we can actually yield overnight with this system. I want to see if I can turn on my KS zeros and the AL box two all through the night and see if it lasts. And then what we're going to do is come back in the morning and see how, uh, yeah, what the percentage is or if it dies overnight. Okay, so I just killed all of these Casper miners and I was actually thinking about it a bit more. What I think I'm going to do is turn on the doge 3 plus because that's about 300 watts in low power mode pulling about 600 watts between the two would probably be a little bit better of a test versus risking a thousand watts and the 300 which would be 1300 watts overnight just in case something happens i would rather see where the 600 lands me and then the next night do the thousand you know what i mean i think that makes the most sense so as you can see right now we're only pulling 350 watts which is just the AO box too so that is perfect we're gonna get these things charged up we'll be back out here to check it out before the night ends all right it's a bit later the sun is down let's see where we're at over here and yeah we'll go from there we got again pulling 353 watts let me turn on this light in here I put a light switch somewhere. Ah, there it is. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's check out the percentages on all these batteries. I know they're definitely not at 100, but hopefully they got close. All right, perfect. That one's at 90. Look at that. We got 90, 85, 83. 84 and 83 all right so they're relatively all pretty close strange that the top two ones really charge faster because the cross configuration should theoretically make uh the whole thing even but you know when i get the next unit what i'm going to do the next 6000 xp that is i'm going to end up putting another positive down here and another negative up here and running that over to the new unit so that's in a future video coming soon but nonetheless let's see you guys saw 90 to like 83 let's see what we look like in the morning and we'll leave uh this running and i'm going to turn on the doge miner right now all right so the mini doge 3 plus right now it's off let's turn that that on click on there we go I just heard it click let's try to fire up hell yeah blue lights on okay it's gonna take a minute but let's see what we get to wattage wise it should be about 600 a little bit more probably all right this thing's bouncing from 530 to literally up to 600 so oh there we go yep a little over 600 it's crazy that it's bouncing that much but anyways we got time so let's let this thing run let's see what happens see where these batteries end up and i'll catch you guys in the morning let's do it all right just got out of bed and it's a real crappy day so we know the batteries aren't charging that well let's see what we ended off with last night and uh yeah we have still pulling 570 or so watts it really bounces around 600 but let's turn on all these guys and just see what we got 62 61, 57, 58, 60, and 60. That is perfect. So now that I know this actually survived overnight pretty well, I'm going to be shutting off the Doge 3, and I'll probably... Oh, I hate killing the AL box two overnight. I really don't want to do that, actually. You know what? To maybe get this up to 1,000 watts, what I'll probably do is actually add my Jazzminer X16Q. That's what I'll do because that's about four to 500 watts or so, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's a little more than five. I don't know. I'll either do the 16Q or the X4Q from Jingle Mining. Shout out to them. But 
Nonetheless, I uh, I think we will be fine pulling a thousand watts overnight, but right now, seeing as it's super crappy, what I'm going to have to do is obviously shut off the Doge 3 Plus. I want to get the batteries fully charged because they still haven't seen 100% on all of them, and then I could do the full test on pulling a thousand or over a thousand watts throughout the night. All right, this is literally days later. I went on a camping trip and everything because the weather has been complete ass and I haven't been able to fully charge these batteries, but I did just get back and I think all the batteries should be completely charged now. Let's just double check, make sure that they are. If I could hit the buttons right. Yes, everything is at a hundred. Hell yeah, all these batteries are at 100. I'm pulling 1300 watts right now, and the reason they're all at 100, and I figured they were all at 100, is because I could not access my PDU through my Ubiquiti system while I was remote. Because if you don't have cell service, even if you have Wi-Fi, you still can't get into your system, which was a complete pain in the ass. So none of this stuff ran besides the AL box too, and it was kind of a pain in the ass. But I did get the KS zeros on on my way home as soon as I had some uh, service. Now, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to get, I think I'm just going to leave this all up and running throughout the night. I don't think I'm going to touch this at all. Right now it's about 2 in the afternoon. I'm just going to allow this thing to stay on fully throughout the night, 1300 watts, and we're going to see what these batteries look like in the morning. I don't care how bad the sun sucks or doesn't suck, if it comes back out or not. I don't know, we're just gonna run it, and I'm gonna see what happens. Now, just before we get out of here to, you know, go to the next morning and do that whole test, I want to uh, kind of talk about somebody in my comments that said something about these batteries and how they actually utilize their solar setup for the daytime and not so much the nighttime, even with their batteries. So, what they do is they pull the max amount that they can all through the day, no matter what with all their machines. So say I took the 6,000 XP and I pulled like 5,000 watts from this PDU with all of my shit in here running, they would use these batteries to power up the additional amount they needed versus, uh, or that they weren't getting rather from the panels when the sun was out because say you're only getting like 4,000 watts, 3,000 watts in from the panels, this would make up the other 2,000 watts that I needed if I was pulling 4,000 watts. And that actually makes way more sense than trying to fight these things throughout the night because then you're not really like beating up your system completely, but this is utilizing these batteries in a super efficient manner. So I thought that was pretty interesting, but anyways, we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna give this a few. We're gonna actually give it the rest of the day. We're gonna be back in the morning and we're gonna see where these batteries land. All right, I lied. Couldn't wait till the morning. Had to come out here and check to see where the batteries were. It's like eight o'clock at night, I think, right? And I'm still pulling 1327 for wattage. I have a light over here somewhere. Let me find it. Ah, all right, blinding. Let's see what these batteries are looking like. We're still at 83%, 84, 85, 84, 84, and 85. All right, 1300 watts. See you in the morning. It's six in the morning. We're going to check this trailer. I wonder how it lasted. My feet are getting wet. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's too early for this shit, but I couldn't sleep well last night just thinking about if these things were going to survive. As you can see, we're still pulling 1303. Let's see what we're looking like. See if these batteries have a decent charge left or not. We're down to 39% on that one, 40% there, 41% there, 37, 38, and 40. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I thought they were gonna be like 20%. That's amazing. I was able to run that no problem. It's been 10 hours right now at 1300 watts. I'm gonna give it another two hours. I wanna see if they are much lower than that when the sun is obviously way behind there and we're not getting much coming in from the panels. We're getting like maybe 100 or so watts at this moment. So let's give it a couple more hours. We'll come back out here and check and then we'll call it a wrap. Nice clear blue sky. It is now 8 a.m. and we're getting a bit of sunlight on the panels. As you guys could see here on the phone, we're getting 1852 for watts. We're charging the batteries a little bit and still pulling about 1300 watts. So let's see where these batteries ended up because that literally 
just started getting hit by the sun. So I want to see how we made out fully throughout the night on all these batteries. I know it's only two hours later. We should be pretty close to 40% though. And look at that, two hours later, 33%. 33%, we got 34, 29, ooh, that's the lowest, 31, and 33. So, moral of the story here is this works flawlessly. I can run 1,300 watts all through the night, no problem, and then things will pick up and the batteries will start charging. Now, I'm really wondering how these batteries will do getting charged up during the day if I only left this 1300 watts on, which would be just the KS0s and the AL box too. But that's gonna be for another video. I'm not actually gonna test that today. I really just don't have time. But I do believe that the guy in the comments that I actually talked about previously, how he utilizes his battery setup to sustain the full power draw that he's capable of pulling, inside his uh, setup during the day. I think that's the best way to do it versus trying to hopefully these things make it through the night type deal, if you know what I mean. It's just a better, more efficient setup. You know, again, if you're only getting 2,000 watts from your solar panels and you're pulling 5,000 watts, this could make up the other three for the time being until you end up getting more sunlight on your panels wherever they may be but anyways guys i appreciate you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it gives some perspective to you guys if you're looking at installing a system like this because 1300 watts all night is no joke and yeah obviously a system like this is no joke you guys have a great day i'll catch you in a bit peace out